Dr. David Baker Gabb has been working with threatened species and specialised recovery teams for the last 25 years. His work now focuses on the plains wanderers, and unlike other threatened species he's worked with, the birds have been in danger for over a decade, and there's still a lot to be done to ensure their survival. So why are they critically endangered? What's been happening here that's been so detrimental to the species? So the main thing, if you go back historically, has been land clearing. So they used to be on the plains west of Melbourne, almost not there. They used to be on the plains west of Adelaide, not there at all. They used to be on the um, Liverpool plains, um, from west inland from Sydney, not there at all. So they're basically gone from a huge area that they used to occupy. And that area was the most productive area that they occupied. So if you think about um, carrying capacity of sheep on the Liverpool Plains or the Plains west of Melbourne, and you think about the carrying capacity way up in Queensland, it's chalk and cheese. You know, it's way lower. And it's the, it's the same for all the species of birds and animals that follow that gradient. So even though they might not have lost all of the area, they've lost pretty much most of the best areas. And so 99% of those plains west of Melbourne are completely gone, um, mostly to crops and other introduced pastures, but some to buildings, you know, the expanding mm. um, houses of Melbourne. And the others um, up this way, you know, they've, it's cultivation again that's really been the main issue because they require really distinct type of grassland. It's a native grassland. So native grasses grow with a tussocky structure. So you don't just have a swarm. And so animals like plains wanderers can move between the grasses. Now, it's important because they forage by moving like that, but they also avoid predators by running between the grasses. Um, so a land-based predator, a cat or a fox, or back in the day, a quoll or a dingo or something, um, they could avoid them just by running away and hiding. And if it's dense, they can't run away. So that change in not, um, the type of grasslands and crops and bare ground means that they've lost 95% of their habitat up here 